Hey everybody, Jess Pippen. Um, <clears throat> just want to tell you about my experience at the uh, pipe show. Because I know some of you are wondering, you know, how my first one went. Um, <clears throat> in case you're in a hurry and want to get out of here, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was more than I thought it was going to be. Um, I've made some notes here because I don't want this video to be so long. I mean, if we left it up to my pace, I'd be talking to you for two hours, you know. Um, I took some videos and uh, some photographs, I think, are in there. and um, But it's going to be, a, you know, another day or so. I got to edit them down and, you know, I didn't do too well of a job. My videos, when I go back and look at them all, they're more, you know, they're as scatterbrained as I was, you know, walking through the through the place. So I'm going to have to clean that up. And I'll make a separate video of just, if you want to see kind of some of the things that I saw, the tables and such, um, I'll just make a video of nothing but that. And it'll be after this video. But this one here, I'll just, um, uh, let, you know, tell you how, how it went for me. And uh, I'll throw some photos in here. So, uh, I left in the morning and uh, I got there, traffic was fine and everything, and I found a hotel and I drove past it because the parking was at the end behind there. And, uh, but you had to have bought a room there to park in that specific area. It was for guests only. And obviously I wasn't one. Uh, but I seen this, the big white tent with the plastic windows on there. So I figured I'm in the right place because, uh, that was the smoking tent right across the street was another parking garage, multiple level concrete one, uh, with a sign out front barricaded that said that that was full, but they gave you an address that you could go to where there was additional parking. So that was very nice. And that address, so I turned around and that address was like a block and a half down and maybe two or three over. And, uh, yeah, it was real easy to find and stuff like that. Um, and the weather was perfect. I mean, it was a, it was a nice lunt. I think I was like on the third floor of this particular structure. So to get down to ground level and then, you know, walk all the way back to, it was a beautiful day. It was a perfect day. Um, you know, just in my shirt. And as, as I was editing this video, I see I'm wearing <laughs> the exact same thing. It's the same shirts and everything that I wore uh, <laughs> Saturday. No, don't fret. Sunday's laundry day, so I am <laughs> cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. I'm a very simple man. I have a few things that are my go-tos, and that's what I do, whether it's clothing or food or whatever. I'm a very simple person, but I just crack myself up because I'm wearing the same damn thing that I wore Saturday. Anyways, uh, so I get there, and um, as soon as you walk into the lobby, they've got like this, a couple big poster boards It's like a map of the room of all the, uh, you know, vendors or presenters that, you know, has. So I scanned through there and looked around at, at everything and a lot of stuff I didn't even recognize. And I'm like, wow, I think I'm in for a treat. So then I walk into the room. I walk through, or no, you, you have to uh, go to the counter and get a lanyard with your pass on there you know to be in the room so she did that i'll show a picture right here so she did that and uh you know i put that on and then i walked through the doors and uh you know it's your typical lots of tables lots of noise people shuffling around and everything and i just started from the corner and i started working my way down and about 
halfway down the first row. Um, oh, let, let's, yeah, that's, I got to refer to these. So, what was on my mind driving in? So, this is what I this is what I was figuring. Out. You know, it, it it was on my mind to look at or you know whatever uh, when I got to the show. So, I was looking for like old estate pipes, medicos, uh, specifically some Grabos and uh, you know George Jensen's things like that. Some older pipes that <clears throat> I really find attractive that I see some of you guys smoking and stuff like that, but they're no longer in production or whatever. So, you know, I had that kind of thing on my mind um, to be looking out for. And uh, like lighters, different kinds of lighters. Um, artwork, you know, older codger artwork or product placement artwork, things like that. Uh, what else? Um Oh, yeah. And like stems for some of the pipes that I already own, you know, old estate pipes and things like that. Like if there was a bin of stems or something like that. So these are all the types of things that's going through my head more. You know, now I can say I probably was thinking about it a little bit more inclusive with like a swap meet type of thing, as opposed to just brand new pipes or artisan pipes and things like that. Um. And there weren't very many pipes of today, I would call them, like, you know, the Rossi Sarah stuff and, you know, you know, uh, some Peterson things, you know, pipes that you can just go on the website and buy right now. You know, there wasn't too much of that. There was some of it, but not too much of that. So of everything that I had in my mind, uh, not much of any of that was there. Um, you know, there was a few lighters here and there, but, uh, you know, nothing like that or art and things like that, uh, parts and old medicals. There was, I think, two tables had, like, basket pipes, I guess, you know, just a tub full of pipes that you could sift through and pick something that you wanted. And uh, nothing really jumped out at me. I saw a diamondback cob. And an old Savinelli, like a billiard style. And, um, but uh, they were a little pricey for me still. I mean, 10 bucks more, I could have bought a brand new Diamondback. And I get it, you know, it's you got to haggle a little bit or whatever, but it didn't really, you know, spark my interest enough to, you know. So there was some of that, but, um, uh, It was mostly new stuff made by pipe makers and holy smokes, Meersham. Okay, I see some of you guys with like the lattice Meersham pipes and things like that, or maybe something with a with a little, you know, kind of carving of a uh, an object or something like that. But wow, wait till you see some of the videos that I'm going to put up. Um, after this video, I'll try to put all the Meerschaum stuff together. It's crazy. I didn't even realize, you know, how intricate some of these things could be. Yeah. So, so that was pretty mind blowing. I spent a lot of time on the Meerschaum tables, just looking at everything. It's so crazy. I can't even believe how intricate these pipes are. Um, Oh, okay. So I got, I got in halfway down the first row within the first like 20 minutes I was there. Uh, I met a fellow YTPC presenter and that was Gary Olden in a way. Um, fantastic. And I did not see, uh, I didn't see Greg, which was a bummer, a real bummer. Uh, I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to see Steve, Smoking cardboard. I didn't see him there. Raphael, Flat Cat Piper, Lady Fire. So Gary's the only one that I saw there. Um, now I didn't go anywhere else, but the I just stayed on a B line from the room to the smoke tent, back to the room, back to the smoke tent. I think I checked the smoke tent twice, and um, yeah, and I didn't even know Smarty Bob was going until I seen Greg's video. So I wasn't really looking for him. Um, 
but my head was buried in the tables a lot. I mean, I would stick my head up and look around and, you know, kind of scan what was going on, who was standing around me and things. But, um, yeah, so, uh, that was kind of a bummer, but, uh, Gary, fantastic, fantastic person. Um, you know, how he comes across in his videos is, is how he is. And, and, and that's great. You know, you ever, you know, when you, when you're ever in the presence of somebody and, and they just project something initially, um, and you just feel comfortable, you know, and that's, that's how Gary was. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm super glad that, that I met you, Gary. And, um, uh, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for letting me get a photo of us. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was special to me. Yeah, that was. And, um, <clears throat> so then, uh, you know, we chit chat a little bit and then I was on my way again and, uh, I passed the table with a bunch of, um, uh, tampers, you know, like the pewter ones and things like that. So I was looking at those forever and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> but as I made my way through, I was re trying to remember things I wanted to come back to because I wanted to get through, you know, relatively quickly in case, you know, there was something there that interested me early as opposed to, you know, taking my super taking my time. And by the time I got to the end, maybe something that I wanted was already gone. So. It wasn't a brisk pace, but I wasn't wasting much time, you know, just making it all the way through and making a mental note of what tables I wanted to go back to or, or whatever. At least that was the plan initially. So I did that and went all the way through. And um, <clears throat> I, I, I thought about getting the Bing uh, Papa Bear. Greg got one. I've seen it in his video. Greg, uh, Gary, Papa Bear had a gaw and Don won that pipe. That Bing Cobb. Yeah, I was going to get one of those. Oh, I was so close to getting one, but I don't know. I just passed it. And I'm like, I'll come back, you know. <clears throat> and then uh, as the day went in and there's like so many things that I'm like, I, uh, I, I think I, I think I want that. You know, I think I want that. I want one of those. And, uh, especially some of the artisan pipes. Holy smokes. Uh, a lot of the stuff is not even what I would call smoking pipes. I mean, I wouldn't even want to smoke any of them. I would just want to own them and on display and just look at them. And, and, and yeah, they're, they're insane. Uh, one table in particular, really, I liked every single one of his pipes, except there was one like a, uh, an insect type one. I, I wasn't too much of a fan of that. I mean, it was an awesome pipe, but uh, the other ones were just beautiful. I mean, fantastic. Uh, I'll put that in here, right here, a little bit. And you're selling, so that's good. Yeah. Glad I got to record some of them. The buyers have been good enough to let me hang on to them. To yeah. Them. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Just gorgeous.
So, yeah, I mean, some of the stuff I saw was just, it blew my mind. It really opened up the hobby to me and a lot, you know, I didn't realize until Saturday just how faceted uh, the pipe hobby is, you know. I mean, I'm only, I'm only... I'm not even a year smoking a pipe right now. So everything is new to me and, uh, you know, presenting on, uh, well, not even presenting. I mean, it's been like four months since I've been watching YTPC videos and now I'm making videos. So everything is super new to me and, uh, it just really broadened my horizons. And like I said, I, I'm definitely going to get a Meerschaum, um, you know, I see you guys with the lattice ones and stuff, smoking those and everything. And, you know, they're cool. And I'm like, yeah, eventually I'm going to get one of those. But seeing all these different styles and types of Meerschaum pipes, yeah, there's definitely one of those in my future for sure. Um, okay, so, oh, and some tobacco too. I didn't see too much tobacco, like older stuff, you know. And I try to remember when I see you guys' videos and, how, and what you talk about and stuff like that, I try to remember like older stuff just because... Not necessarily that I would appreciate it so much, but I try to remember what you guys like. So if I ever see something like that, I can pick it up and gift it to you or put it in a gar or something like that. But nothing really jumped out to me except uh, that Frog Morton that everybody talks about. Uh, but they were super expensive. I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was over 150 bucks just for the tin. Maybe it was even more than that. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that was a good price. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just so new at it. Like, I don't even know what, you know, what's good or whatever, you know? So I didn't, I didn't see too many of those types of tobaccos that was like, oh yeah, I gotta get, I gotta pick that up. You know, I did see, uh, Captain Black Grape. You could buy a tub of it or it was like five or six bucks an ounce. And I thought that stuff was super rare, but there was a lot of it. They had a lot of it there. Brand new, big tubs and everything like that. Um, what else did I see there that I thought was, you know, in, in my for some reason in my mind, I don't know why, maybe somebody mentioned it. or, But I thought that new, um, Garrett gifted me some of this, uh, Sutliff's Blackthorn Shillelagh. Shillelagh. Um, I thought that was like super rare because it sold out everywhere. They had piles of it. They had a big pyramid. There must have been 15 tub pyramid. And I, and it, you know, I looked online and everybody sold out. So I guess that's something I got to learn too, that it, you know, sometimes the company or, or, or maybe a representative or something, they just keep a bunch of it for themselves for special occasions like this. Um, but, you know, I thought like, well, they just make it for the year. And however much they make, that's it. Who gets it, gets it, and we're done with it. But I don't think that's the case. I just think that, they, you know, that they distribute so much. And when the distribution channels are dry, they're the only ones that have it or, or whatever. So, Or somebody might have bought a whole bunch of it. I don't know. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Um, 
Okay, I got to stick with my thing because otherwise, like I said, I'll be talking for hours. Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I didn't see anybody, uh, I saw, but, but Gary. Uh, and, that, you know, to be quite honest with you, that was the highlight for me, uh, meeting Gary. Uh, yeah. And actually, I didn't even notice him. He noticed me and walked up to me. Um, I think it was at the point where I had the camera above my head. And you'll see in, in one of the videos. Uh, and I was kind of just panning around. Because I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty tall. And when I stretch my arms out, you get a pretty high view. So I was just kind of scanning through the room. Just, just so you could see the scope of, the, of, you know, the room. <laughs> And uh, he walked up to me, so uh, yeah, thanks, Gary. Yeah, I loved meeting you. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I just stayed between the showroom and, and the smoke tent. And, and You know, prior to the show, I thought I was at a point in my journey already, pipe smoking journey, that uh, I kind of knew what I liked and figured out, yeah, I dig that. That's what I'm going to stick with as far as pipes and, you know, stuff like that. And I could just set cruise control on now and, and you know, just keep my radar on and when I see something some of these things that are in my head that I like, uh, I'll just pick them up as time goes on or whatever. But yeah, this, this show changed my whole perspective. I, it just really showed me how little I really know about what's going on in, in the pipe industry, really, you know, in the hobby. It's so multifaceted. I didn't think it was as complex uh, a thing as it is. It, it is pretty complex. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, kind of to sum it up, oh, what did I get? That's what you want to know. What did what I, what I pick up? Well, a surprise to me and my wife <laughs> I left with nothing. Nope. I didn't pick up one thing. Um, 
I got so overwhelmed, I think, uh, with so many choices and there were so many things that I wanted, I couldn't decide. And, you know, after my second time through the room, you know, like I said, I, I did the brisk thing and then I went back and I'm like, ah, I can't even, by the time I got to the end, I couldn't even remember what tables exactly I want to go. So I just started all over again and I, I walked the whole thing the second time, you know, and I just, I didn't really, I don't know how even know how to explain it. I got really overwhelmed with the amount of choices and what I wanted and what would I really appreciate versus, oh, that looks super cool. I got to have one of those, you know, that kind of thing. And I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something that three months from now, later in my journey, I wouldn't truly appreciate. And, and I just got it because it's something I hadn't seen before and I thought it was really cool. So I picked it up. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't. I almost got the Bing Cobb. I was real close to doing that. But again, since I've got my forever stems on the cobs that I own, and I just won that Let Freedom Ring Cobb from Bill, I'm super happy with what I got right now. Yeah, I am. And I just feel like there's more things up and coming in the future that I'm going to want that's going to cost me some money. And I don't want to squander it on, you know, oh, that's cool. And then I got a whole room of stuff that's not genuinely appreciated. You know what I mean? Um, but I really hope I can go back next year because I, I'll, I'll have a better idea um, of exactly, you know, kind of what I wanted. So after I walked through the whole second time and everything, and I, and I was all through again, um, I sat down on the bench and I'm like, well, if somebody leaves or comes in, you know, I'll catch them, whatever. So I sat there for about 15 minutes and, um, and I was thinking of, you know, going back in and getting some stuff. And, uh, so I took, you know, a couple more minutes and, and gathered my thoughts and I started feeling uh, like a little bit lightheaded and uh, a little queasy. Um, so I found the, the first aid station that they have there in the hotel. And I went over there and, you know, I told the nurse, you know, I was feeling lightheaded. And, uh, apparently for no reason, I was just going to go back into the room. Um, and uh, I decided to come here. So she took my blood pressure and my temperature and uh and she said well you've got the symptoms of pad so it's probably wise if you left now before you get it full blown so then at that point that's when i left and uh <laughs> Pipe acquisition disorder was setting in. Yeah. And I just didn't want to leave with a whole sack of stuff, you know. So um, I didn't go back in that third time. Um, I told myself, you, there's going to be plenty of opportunities. Uh, leave now before you uh, empty your wallet, you know. So, yeah, I didn't get full-blown PAD at the show. And uh, I made it out alive. Uh, wallet intact so yeah it was a good time i'm really 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 glad i went and uh i loved meeting gary um and uh yeah it was a successful show my first one it was a su successful show and there was a lot to look at uh, as you'll see in in these videos i mean i can't really explain it you you and that's the other thing too. I mean, it's it's one thing to see something in a photograph or a video or something like that, but when you're there and you know, you can actually look at it and touch it and pick it up, it's 
it's not even next level appreciation. I mean, it's really up there, you know. And then, you know, the person standing opposite to you is the one who created it. I mean, you can imagine he's in his shop. He made this thing, this piece of art, you know. I, I don't know. It really blew my mind, and uh, I'm glad I went. And uh, I'm definitely going to be needing some furniture in my office for to put on some proper displays and things because uh, I really – I'm going to start, you know, delving into this uh, pipe artis artisan aspect of uh, – you know, getting to know the makers and things like that. And, uh, oh, Pipes of Old was there. I seen his table. Yeah, we, we uh, sh shot the breeze a little bit. And um, I almost bought his. So, you know, he makes those church board pipes. And <clears throat> so it was explained to me that the three, I think it was three, maybe four pipes on the far left side that were project pipes. Um, I guess everybody gets together and, and there's a theme and then you got to create the pipe, you know, and there was a bill similar to this, similar looking pipe to this. And uh, I had a blue band right here. And, and uh, I almost bought that pipe. I almost did. And then I can't remember what happened. I think, you know, I didn't want to plug up the tables either, you know, with my recording and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I got shots when, there was a lull in the activity for the persons that, that, you know, owned the table. I didn't want to kind of take up all the room and be filming and all this stuff. So I didn't get pictures of everything, but, um, uh, I did get pictures of a lot of stuff. And, um, so again, I'll, I'll put it in the next video. Yeah. We're almost a half an hour already, man. Time flies when you're talking like this. So, okay, everybody. Uh, I'll wrap this up. I'll just make a separate video with all kind of like footage, you know, random. I'll try to group it all together, like artisan, meerschaum, tobacco or whatever. You know, I, I, got, I still got to go through it. And uh, so you can watch that at your leisure. But um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. The pipe show was grand. I mean, it, it, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm glad I went. I hope I get to go next year. And, um, yeah, if you haven't been to one, I definitely suggest you go because, uh, there's a lot of things that you, you know, especially if you're a new pipe smoker, um, there's just a lot of things that you don't even realize is happening in the, uh, in the industry, in the hobby, you know, so on and so forth. It's just, it really broadened my horizons. It opened up a new vision of what this is, you know, uh, not and community too, you know, uh, not once did I hear any kind of yelling or fussing or, uh, you know, anything like that. It, everybody was very, it was a great place to be with a, with a great bunch of people. <sighs> yeah. I suggest you go to a pipe show if you haven't. Um, so, all right, everybody. Thanks for hanging around. Um, I loved it. It was a good time. Uh, and uh, watch for the next video. And, and I'll put some of the footage I took in there. So, okay. Take care of yourselves. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.